Hey, what's up, YouTube? There is a new movie on the corner, and I just saw it, and I liked it right off the bat. Even though it's not a big production, super cast film, they got the job done. The movie is called Little Wing. It's a drama film directed by Dean Israelite and written by John Gatins, who wrote the good movie like Flight, Need for Speed, and Real Steel. The man really knows how to write a story. A touching one. The movie is about a teenage girl who's having a tough time with everything going around her and her parents are getting divorced. So she somehow gets involved in the robbery of a bird that's worth over a hundred grand. Hey guys, today I'm excited to tell you a little bit more about the movie. So the movie casts Brooklyn Prince as Caitlin McKay, the main character, and the brilliant Brian Cox as Jan Vari, the Penguin Man. Also, we saw the beautiful Killy Riley as Caitlin's mother, and the kid Shay Tafari as Adam, who's Caitlin's friend at school. When I saw Brooklyn Prince, I knew she was familiar to me. And then I said, of course, that's the cute girl from the Florida project back in 2017 when she appeared with William Defoe and she participated in a couple of other things like the Marsh King's Daughter from last year and Home Before Dark etc. She's a growing actress who has a bright future in front of her. Che Tafari who also appeared in Kevin Hart's and Mark Wahlberg's movie Me Time back in 2022. Choosing Brian Cox for this movie was a great choice. Seeing him in the second third of the trailer was like an assurance that the movie is going towards something even better. Caitlin is a different girl who has trouble coping with everything going on. We saw her in the class when she got asked by the teacher about her homework. She said she chose Britney Spears as her role model, quoting a verse from one of her songs, which definitely told us a lot about her nature. She was not that popular at school when her castmates threw balls at her in the sports class, but she is smart, sharp, and funny. We saw the scene, parents told her that they were going through divorce procedures. She pretended that she was crying, and then right after that, she asked for a phone. That wasn't the smartest thing to do, but it tells us that she is emotionally stable and knows what she wants, despite what's going on around her. She was focused, and also that scene laughed me out. And I liked the compo of persona she has. We saw Adam, who was her best friend. As she cleared out, they always go to school together. He tries to push her forward with her studies, but she refuses to make any effort at school because she's going through an emotional upheaval. It was obvious that Adam wanted to get closer to her. Anyways, the movie also tells us that her mother is going through some serious financial issues. She owes a hundred grand on their house to the bank and that she couldn't do anything about. Her mother's back was against the wall. Caitlin hears that and when she was taking off she saw her brother who heard it all. I liked it when she exposed her reactions in front of her brother who shares the same misery. Caitlin discusses it with Adam later saying that if she owed that type of money she would buy their house and kick everyone out. Adam said that if he owned that type of money he would give it to her and there was that awkward moment between them but she she pushed him and ignored his kindness toward her. She has gone through some shit and she was fighting so hard to hide her feelings. Later on, Adam tells her about the pigeon man who owns a bird that is valued over 120,000 bucks. And there is where everything changed. Caitlin's eyes glow up, interrupting Adam and asking him about the location of that pigeon dude. Adam tells her that he lives here in Portland. And there she goes. She plans to steal that bird from this man. She didn't want to move from her house so badly that she was willing to do anything. She asks Adam to help her, and when he asks her what will make him commit a robbery with her, she tells him that she will make out with him if he accepts. There's a certain point here about Caitlyn's character. She's a good planner, a determined girl who takes no for an answer. These are all good characteristics, but not in the direction she was going. Acting wise, I enjoyed every scene Caitlyn appeared with Adam, especially this one, when he got nervous hearing she would make out with him. And her reaction after telling him that, realizing that she just said that was funny. Brooklyn Prince is a talented actress. Her reaction to the movie was epic. She's also 
also a pro actress. Later on, they manage to steal the bird. They face some troubles, but they pull it off. She sells it, she takes the money, and she feels she's at the top of the world. Not for long though, the house bell rings, and it's that old man from the web blog she viewed when she searched about the pigeon man. He was saying hi to her mother, who opened the door introducing himself, and asking if this bag belongs to Caitlin. Caitlin left her bag behind when she was stealing the bird. I guess the smart girl wasn't that smart under pressure. Later on, we see Caitlin talking with Jan, the bird man. He said that stealing that bird meant destroying what was left of his life. She felt bad about it, asking him why he didn't call the cops when he found the bag. He told her that she was a good girl who made a stupid mistake. Later, she told him she would help him get back the bird. And in the process of bringing back the bird, she got closer to that old man who taught her so much about birds and life. They found what was missing in each other. She found a mentor, a father, or a grandfather. He found someone who broke his loneliness. She started to learn a lot of things from him, like watching the birds being part of a group, how to train a bird, how birds come back home on their own, and loving their nest so much that they would die to get back to it. I think she's seeing things more clearly now. She started getting back to being a normal person, expressing her feelings like that scene in school when she certified the homework her teacher gave about choosing Using some inspirational character, she expressed her feelings in front of a whole class. Caitlin's relationship with her mother improved. She started opening up about being that dull girl who looks like she doesn't care about anything, and she found what was missing in her school life with her mother Jan and the birds. I think the movie will discuss an important case that many teenagers are going through now, feeling that nobody gets them, not belonging to anything or anyone, feeling depressed and having no one to discuss it with. I saw when Caitlin asked Jan if he was afraid of death, and Jan said he felt like his life was a flock of birds, and he felt them flying away. He feels that he's near death, but nothing really matters as long as you're not alone. That line really touched me and I liked it. The last third of the movie got me a mix of feelings. I really love this kind of touchy-feely type of movie. I'm so excited about movies like that. This movie was good. I liked the storytelling, the songs, the colors, and the locations. Camera shots, the birds, and the idea of the movie. The soundtrack was good. The director did a great job with this film, as well as the whole cast, especially Brooklyn and Brian. It's a movie about love, living, birds, and critical ideas everyone gets. Choosing Brian Cox as Jan was a perfect choice. I used to see him as a villain, like Troy and Jason Bourne, but his role in this movie really surprised me. I don't want to spoil anything, but the ending of the movie had me. I honestly shed a tear at the end. It was a good experience. The movie is out in theaters. You can definitely go see it and forget about what's going on in your head during that one hour because it's really relieving and touching. Even if you're not that big of a drama fan, I think you'll like it. That's it. Leave your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. Make sure to hit that share, like, and subscribe button for more content like this and to see the full review when it's out. Peace.